is very old to introduce a very nice problem of Karwatian Mathematical Olympiad edition 1996 question number one here is the following setup we have e to the fourth minus 10 times is multiplied by e squared plus number nine is divisible by 1920 okay in the other word this term is a multiple of 1920 okay for every prime number e is strictly superior than five okay in fact this is very straightforward problem so the way we can solve this problem we are going to factor out this term okay on the form of the product and extract all the prime factorization for 1920 okay go ahead pause this video if you would like to give the try to this problem when you will come back to see the full solution okay let's get into the solution now we have this term and also we have 1920 1920 it will be written on this form 2 to the 7 is multiplied by 3 and is multiplied by 5 okay so the first thing i'm going to factor out this term okay so in order to factor the, out this one i'm going to set let's set e square equal to capital x so i will have x square minus 10 times is multiplied by x plus number 9 okay so this term is reduced to the form quadratic form okay now it become more simple to factor out this one delta equals 10 squared minus 4 times is multiplied by 9 by 9 okay this one is giving us 100 minus 36 is giving us 64 64 it will be written on this form 8 square i have two solutions x1 equals minus b which is 10 plus square root of, root of delta is 8 square is divided by 2a and second solution will have 10 minus square root of 8 square is divided by 2 okay it's giving me 10 minus 8 divided by 2 10 minus 8 is 2 is divided by 2 is given as number 1 here so 10 plus 8 is divided by 2 10 plus 8 is 18 over 2 is 9 okay so x1 equal to 9 that's mean equals a square this one equals a square or a square okay 20 will be written in this form x minus x1 factor x minus x2 x will be replaced with a square x1 will be replaced with 9 factor a square minus number one have the the difference of two squares now i'm going to factor out this one one more time i will have a minus three factor a plus three factor a plus one factor a minus one okay now i have e to the fourth minus ten times multiplied by a square plus number nine equals factor a minus one okay here is the following expression okay now i'm going to take this expression at the top and continue with our problem so in order to show this term is a divisible by 1920 we're going to reduce this term to to mods 2 3 and 5 okay by using the congruence definition but be careful a is strictly superior than 5 as a prime number okay if you take for example a equal to 5 you will have a problem here okay if you take a is strictly inferior than 5 you will have a problem okay you will have this term not divisible by 1920 because we have short terms in numerator okay so now i'm going to start with mod 5 by taking three different examples i'm going to take let's set a equals 7 as a first example as you know any prime number you take above this number it will work here okay is okay that's why i'm going to show three different examples to show you this one is valid for all cases okay so now i'm going to start with mod 5 as i said before as we know a minus 2 is a congruent to 5 and also is a congruent to 0 mod 5 okay if i'm going to replace 7 with a i will have 7 minus 2 which is 5 that's mean 5 is a congruent to 0 mod 5 or 5 is a congruent to 5 mod 5 but now i need a minus 3 okay in order to get a minus 3 i'm going simply to add minus 3 on both sides so i will have a minus 3 is a congruent by by adding minus 1 here mod 5 okay 
or where I find a minus three is a congruent to minus one minus five. I'm going to work on a by getting a plus three. I'm going to simply add number five on both sides. If I'm adding five here, I will get a plus three. Okay, so this implies I will have a plus three is a congruent to five mod five. Five is, is the same thing as zero mod five. Okay, so I get a plus three is a congruent to zero mod five. I'm going to work on a plus one. So for a plus one, I'm going simply to subtract minus two on both sides. Okay. So we'll have a plus one is a congruent to minus two to mod five. Okay. I get the second one. So now I'm going to work on a minus one. By getting a minus one, I'm simply going to add number one on both sides. Okay. So I will have eight minus one is a congruent to one mod five no now i have four statements here now what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now i'm going to make a product by multiplying this one by this one by this one and by this one so finally i will have minus one i'm going to call this one as a capital a this one as a capital a the same thing as a capital a so I will have this one is a congruent. Now, as I multiply this one by this one by this one by this one, I'm going to multiply number one by minus one and by minus two and by zero. Since I have zero here, everything turns into zero. So I will have zero mod five. So what does what is this one telling us? Telling us five divides capital A. Okay. So this one, I have shown this one. I'm going to reduce this one to mod three. By taking different example, this time I'm going to set a equals 11, okay? I can work on the same example, but I, I want to change this one to show you this one is, this, is the same whatever prime is, okay? So for the mod three, I can take this example, a minus two is a congruent to three mod three, okay? Because if I'm taking a, if I'm going to replace a with 11, I will have 11 minus two, which is nine. Nine is a congruent to three mod three, three, three. Is also this one is, is a congruent to zero mod three. Okay, so I will have a minus two is a congruent to zero mod three. Okay. So, but I need a minus three. So in order to get a minus three, I'm going simply to add minus one on both sides. So I will get a minus three is a congruent to minus one mod three. So I get this one now. Now let's move on to a plus three. So in order to get a plus three, I'm going to simply add six on both sides. By adding six on both sides, I will have a plus three is a congruent. Six minus one is giving us five. Five mod 3 is the same as 2 mod 3. So I will have 5 is a congruent to 2 mod 3 because it's two more number over, okay? 3. So that's why we did 2 mod 3. I have finished with this one. Let's move on to work on a plus 1. In order to get a plus 1, I'm going simply to subtract minus 2, minus 2 from both sides. I will get a plus three minus two, which is a plus one. I will have a plus one is a congruent. As I said, I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract minus two from both sides. If I'm going to subtract minus two from both sides, I will get two minus two, which is zero. Okay, so I will get zero mod three. So I get this one now. Finally. I'm going to work on a minus one. So for a minus one, to get a minus one, I'm, I'm going simply to add minus two on both sides. By adding minus two on both sides, I will get a minus one here. 
is a congruent to minus 2 mod 5 am i 3 mod 3 okay now i get all the terms i'm going to make the product now so by by multiplying this one by this one by this one by this one which i call it capital a capital a is a congruent to 0 mod 3 because since i have 0 here everything else, everything else turns 0 okay because 0 is multiplied by other numbers is giving us 0 so this one is telling us 3 divide a okay according to the visibility statement so this one is also verified now le let's clean up the board and work on mod 2 okay a equals 13 as an example okay i'm going to work on a equals 13. now now i'm going to reduce this one to mod 2 okay so for mod 2 simply i'm going to put a minus 3 a minus 3 is a congruent to 2 mod 2 because if i'm going to replace a with 13 i will get 13 minus 3 which is 10 10 is a congruent to mod 2 okay because by taking 2 to the left hand side i will get 10 minus 2 i will get 10 minus 2 which is 8 so we'll have 0 i will have 2 divide 8 okay so this one is also is a congruent to 0 mod 2 okay i can write it like this is also is a congruent to 0 mod 2 since I found a minus 3 is a congruent to 0 mod 2 so everything else turns to 0 because you have products so even though this one I'm going to th go through all, all of them okay by getting a plus 3 I'm simply going to add 6 on both sides so I will have a plus 3 is a congruent to 6 is the same as 2 2 is a congruent to 0 mod 2 okay for the second term I'm going to work on a plus 1 so I will get here e plus 1 is a congruent to minus 2 mod 2 okay so e plus 1 is a congruent to minus 2 is the same as is a congruent to, to, to 0 mod 2 okay so I finish with this one now I'm going to work on on a, a minus 1 so for a minus 1 is a congruent <coughs> to get a minus 1 I'm going simply to add minus 2 on both sides okay I will have a minus 1 is a congruent to minus 2 minus 2 is the same as 0 mod 2 regardless of this product to divide a minus 3 because we have 0 here so also to divide a plus 3 because we have a plus 3 is a congruent to 0 mod, mod 2 and also this one is divide a plus one and the same same thing with us so i would finish from the beginning once i found zero so everything else turned to zero without doing this one just i, I i'm trying to do it because i want to go through all these steps so finally this one is telling us to divide capital a okay we have proven mod two mod three and mod five so finally this term divides b this term okay so finally thus 1920 divides capital a is equivalent uh, e to the fourth minus 10 is multiplied by a square plus 9 is divisible by 19, 1920 so i have done with this problem if you are interested in watching this one don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye